nothing is beneath you and nothing is above you. Today we are in a beautiful township called Whiteville. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Ntaim Tumbeni and you are watching Uncut. Yeah, go wherever I wanna go. Money ain't a pilot many more. I'm getting more dough and they know. I'm getting more shows like I cast them Fresh Prince episodes. You yeah, dig? Bad bitches only, real niggas only. Talking real nigga business. We can hang around and snitch. We only do models over here. Every household is different. We were all brought up differently. As for me, I am the only child. However, today I am sitting with beautiful twins. Tobile and Tavega. Ladies, thank, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're more excited. Really? We are. Girl. Just, just, just. Today, we are yeah. showcasing talents. Yes. However, I want to get to the root of that talent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly. Mm. How was your upbringing? <laughs> I don't know where to start. Yeah. Which part do you want to know? <laughs> From the root of it all. <laughs> really? So. We were roommates, yeah. Okay. We were roommates. Yes. Hashtag roommates. We were together. Yes. Um, actually, it's it's a crazy story because like when you're twins, people think that um, one of you is treated like the second best or whatever, but we've never yeah. had that feeling. We've never ever. Felt, yeah. like, we've always yeah. felt equal, equal. Mm -hmm. in everything, so we've never had like issues of, hey, mom loves you more. Yeah. No one gives yeah, you more yeah, attention. Yeah. So I think that's how we even grew a relationship together. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Because like more than like. More than being she's sisters, not just being, yeah, yeah, she's being my best friend. Best friend. Yeah. yeah. So that's the vibe. I think our upbringing actually helped us a lot, like with mm. how we think, yeah. yeah, how we view life yes. and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, we actually grew up like looking up to like some of the ladies who used to like live here. <laughs> really? But then in a way, I feel like they kind of disappointed Don't us. Say that. Really? In what <laughs> way? Like, they didn't. They just never really. lived up to oh, what we okay. thought they were. Yeah. Speaking of uh, best friends. Mm. Do you ever get insecure about your sister being close with someone else? Whoa. Boyfriends. Okay. Boyfriends. Okay. No lie. Like there's there's always this cycle which like I've noticed that whenever she's like dating, mm -hmm. I like I I I yeah, hate. Honestly, yeah. Ooh. Attachment issues. Yeah, yay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But what changes though? So what changes? Does she become distant or I just don't like the thing of she does not talk to me about certain things anymore. Okay. Like the the confiding. So it's more like I have another shoulder yes. to cry on. Yes. Okay. Whereas I'm used to being the shoulder to cry on. So yeah, hey, what's I get jealous. How no? <laughs> Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. But no more relationships until... I hope I'm not causing that's any not problems. Realistic. That's, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. Let's be realistic. Okay. So, yeah. I guess it's something I should learn to just... Yeah, be whatever that is. Yeah, yes. I feel the same way. I just had to... <laughs> okay. Get out there. Okay. okay. I feel the same way. But then, like, I, I, I don't show it more than she shows it. Because, okay. like, you know, like, sometimes I can yeah. tell. It's okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. She has a problem yeah. there. Yeah. And then I'm just like... But are you able to like ask her? Are you confident with? No, actually, because I know they never last. Shut out! No, but then no. Okay, 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 okay. They they oh, don't normally do. Because okay. okay. I feel like it's a cycle now. I'm kind of used to it. Beauty. When she out of that, she's gonna come back to where she belongs. Okay. Oh, where she belongs. Where she belongs. Oh, oh. You know you where know exactly. home is. You know where home is. Exactly. Okay. Twins. What makes you guys different from each other? I think when I'm... Okay, I don't have to get comfortable with people to start talking and okay. blabbing. But she has to get comfortable first for her to talk a lot. So would you say you're an ambivert, introvert, extrovert? Ah, I should be some something in between extrovert and introvert and and because because i <laughs> okay i'm not an introvert. so you the extrovert i'm not an introvert now. exactly okay so that's yeah. what makes you guys different yeah yeah and like my whole vibe is okay it's crazy how when we're like with people yeah i prefer to make people comfortable first before they make me comfortable True. Really? and after they're comfortable then i get bored yeah because <laughs> i get them. to see who they are and what they're okay, about yeah. and i get bored and i'm like okay now i'm done yeah. I'm cool. 
I, for one, did not go to university after I matriculated, as well as these ladies. They are my friends, and I must say that that's one of the things that we have in common. It has been tough, and it has challenged me yeah. mentally and emotionally. How has it impacted your life? I think more than anything, not on our lives, more on our parents, because they like yes, yeah. they just have this idea that your child can't get the job that she wants, she can't get the money that she wants, she can't come in like a I'm a grocery, without being like going to varsity. So I think it's been strenuous mostly on them than us, because like we kind of have an idea where we want to go already, but then. To be honest, I actually calculated like everything. I was like, okay, after school, three years varsity, yeah. two years and everything. We all did. And then that doesn't happen and I'm like, okay, now what's yeah. supposed to happen? You what's know? Plan B? Yeah, so it has impacted my parents more than me because like the poetry session and everything, I think on the right track. You are. So but then I feel like for my parents they just need to see something that's solid bringing in money and yep. everything then they're going to be like 100 percent on it so that's just i mean oh nelson mandela yeah said education is key it is right but yeah. talent speaks for itself that's true all that's you true. need is talent and hard work that's yeah. true we understand yeah so Growing up in Whiteville, mm -hmm. you do get people like Fusi Temewa mm -hmm. that grew up here, yeah. as well as Lira, mm -hmm. which many, like most people, don't know about. I yeah. don't know who to call it, but she grew up from here. I got receipts. Receipts for days. We have receipts. Yeah. 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 With that being said, mm -hmm. are there any opportunities presented to you by Fusi Temewa or Lira? To be honest, no, no, because I mean, it's it's just so crazy how you expect to see someone who. Okay, I'm not saying that the community did anything for him, okay. but then I feel like it's up to us to change the narrative. Yeah. I mean, if you want the community to be into Estiza Abandu, how can we go about True. to do that? Yeah. You know, like we we are the upcoming generation and Yitabantu who like the other kids are looking up to and what do we do to help those kids? Yes. Do you understand what I mean? Like we stuck here and this person is from this community but then he's not unless he's not he's not present. Like that's yeah. the honest truth. He's, okay. he's not he's not. So I can't turn it around and be like, ah he does that because he doesn't. Right? With him being present, what would you like for him to do specifically? I think more than anything, we're not expecting Okay. We're not expecting um Guti Avula ma post him Sibenzini. But then acknowledgement. Acknowledgement, do you understand? Yeah. Like something like um recognition. Recog from exact where you recognition come from, from yeah. where you come from. Yeah. Who, who, who's cool, in yeah. in a okay. sense. I mean some of us don't have data to listen to your motivation. Yeah. Oh sure. so okay. <laughs> but then you're from yeah. here, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and it would like you coming here as an individual, showing us what to listen, guys. I'm still here and I grew up from here. This is what I'd like to do for my community. We're not saying that what will did anything for him, yeah. but then to change the narrative. Yes. And you show now it affected you, Guti, what will didn't do anything for you. Yeah. So, so change, change the, the narrative change. and yeah. change, yeah. but then no one goes anywhere. Malume, 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 yeah, I was a fool in the cane in the cane. But I still accept cool. Yes, I drown in this pool of pain. The cure for my pains are in return to be the poison to my soul. It pains me seeing my gas in my hood like this. Because of I see no future in the future. Oops! Oh my! Oh what? Mshana! 
I just remembered Malume. We are the youth with no future. As a ship not led by his shepherd loses his direction. So am I lost in confusion. I taught you my everything. My wealth, my life. But instead you brought climate into my life forgetting that I have a great future ahead of me. A legacy to build. Forgetting that I was just a kid. Hey, I'm just a kid. A kid who likes to play in classes where I should be. Not being out here playing with drugs. She was playing with my life. I honestly believe in creating opportunities for other people. I honestly believe in talent and that's what I want to showcase with this interview. With that being said, I would like for Edward and Spiso to join us. Hi gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a plan. Thank you. I see you have books. Yeah. Yes. I have yeah. books here. Okay. A Garden Planted with Alphabets mm -hmm. is a poetry book, but it's not only poetry, but rather motivation. Yes. That's what we are selling. Okay. Yes, you can just have a coffee. Thank you. What inspired you to write this book? A lot of things inspired me, especially where I started writing the book, Behind Pass. Really? Yes, yeah, so it's not something that I chose to do. I think it's more like a coding because mm -hmm. from an early age, I've been a problem child. I was more like a savage. But wherever I would be, I would still I remember one day, I cops were looking for me, my family, everyone. I was at, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you know, uh, Hrubal's Dam. Yes. Yes. I had like 10 rand in my pocket, that was the last one I had. And I bought a, a pen and an exercise book. I, I don't know why, because I was hungry, I was supposed to buy food or something, mm. but I just bought a pen and a book and I began writing. I had nowhere to sleep, but I wasn't worried. So I think there's a calling. Yes, there yes. is. Definitely. Mm -hmm. There is. But your poetry, what type of poetry do you write? Poetry to inspire people, love, hurt? My poetry is, is proud. But more specifically, I deal with broken souls. Okay. Then I turn them to happy ones because yeah. I believe in happy endings. Yeah. You know? Yes. More like Tobago's gift of 20 years. That's true. And so along the way, I realized the more I turn, I turn it away, mm -hmm. you know, I think I, I begin to lose my mind in a way. But the more I embrace it, I feel yeah. fulfilled. Yes. Yes. Irrespective yes. of what I have, mm. no matter I have money or what, but because what I do, I do it with love. Mm. It's a drive, it's a quest. Mm. You know, I usually hear people, more especially our families, and they ask, how old? Does it make money out of this? Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. then it. it's it's yeah. 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 Give art what it really deserves. For sure. You know, because For like sure. artists have like this power to change people's minds, yeah. lives, Definitely. and it's just yes. not given what it really deserves. Mm -hmm. I think people are just taking it for granted and it's just and, and to add on that, I would say mm -hmm. artists generally life. Yeah. True. For sure. Life. Because numbers yeah. For, for, for an aid to be there, there was, yeah. uh, there was an artist who yes. Yes. came exactly. up with the structure. Yes. So. I once came across a quote that said, your pain leads to your passion. And I must say, your pain did. Yes, for sure. It definitely. Definitely, definitely did. And mine is too. However, I won't be revealing that right now. I will reveal it in the future. I believe in investing yourself, investing your dreams. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Mm. Prove yourself right. Yes. God so, gave you this dream. So, yeah. It's so, your dream. So it's no one else. If you don't do it, no one else will. Yes. Exactly. Perseverance to hold on. Mm. Yes. Because I remember specifically for this book, working from Kempton Park, you know, mm. by feet to Daviton, because I, I didn't have money for taxi. But because I wanted it badly, exactly. I said, no, I, my friends don't have money, 
So what do I want to do? Yeah. It's all up to you. I want education. I, I want to let this opportunity pass me by. I woke up early in the morning, three o'clock. I was supposed to be there by half past eight, and I walked by foot, hmm. and I made it. No leave, no nothing. Wow. That's why this book today is here. If it is going to write a poem about you, my friends, it's going to write a poem about you. Honestly, and name it "Walking in Your Face" because no. you walked. <laughs> <laughs> Literally <laughs> walked. Uh, Honestly, writing yes. my own, uh, walking in through the journey in a way, probably yeah. because we must do a collab, and I must. Still your contacts after the show so that I can <laughs> give me one of those. <laughs> but we still have uh, the poetry session on the 2020. Most yes. definitely. Yes. Yes. On, on the 28th of April. Yes. Yes. Fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, a garden planted with alphabet. Mm. Yes. A book by Edward Him. I will put his number down below. You can contact him if you would like to purchase the book. Thank you so much for joining me on Uncut. I am truly inspired by your guys' story. I love Thank you. your story. Thank I am you. definitely Thank you for inspired. This opportunity. Honestly. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you guys. You. Thank you so much. You have a great amount of talent. Honestly, I admire you. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are inspired as I am. Thank you so much for watching Uncut. Heart. Now this poem is not what you are used to where blue usually rhymes with you. It's a poem that feasts your beast, it needs an ear that can hear while you are here. Some of your minds are outside there. And I'm sure you're wondering what this poem is all about. Well, it has to do something about standing out while we are bound to bounce from one person to another because of the expectations of the definitions that you have created of love. And when those are not met, you've got...